Hello my small fat adaptive family and welcome back to the Keto Kitchen. Bear in Mind Boxes has kindly sent me this box. Bear in Mind is a small family business here in the UK that sells snack boxes. This box they've sent me, as you can see, is keto friendly. Inside this box is a whopping 20 keto friendly snacks, all of which are under 5 grams of net carbs per portion. This looks like the kind of box that is perfect for a present or a way to try lots of keto treats without having to bulk buy one item. I don't want to keep you waiting, let's have a quick peek at the outside of the box before we dive in. You can see it's just a nice simply branded box and it says please recycle me and I love that. It's a little bit out of shape but that isn't their fault, that'll just be because of shipping. I will be honest with you, I have already cut open the two seals uh, in this snack box because I'm pretty sure I'll end up in A&E if I try and cut them open in the position that I'm sat in. And I've only had a little tiny, tiny peep uh, below the wrapping. So let's get this open. So we have a card that has their socials on it. And on the other side, it says, thank you. As a small family run business, every order means a great deal to us. We hope you enjoy your handcrafted gift box. Craig, the founder. That's absolutely lovely. That's really, really sweet. Hey, look at that. Please use the code, the Keto Kitchen, to offer your followers 10% all boxes on our website. We ship all orders same day using Royal Mail First Class. So if you watching this use the code, the Keto Kitchen, you can get 10% off anything on the Bear in Mind website, Royal Mail first class. I've linked the website below, be sure to check them out. Then we get to the treats that are behind this nice, once sealed, <laughs> tissue paper. Oh, look at how packed that is. So when I'm looking for keto snacks, I look out for mainly three things. What is the product? Does it have any iffy ingredients and what are the net carbs so those are the three things that we're going to be looking at as i unpack this box let's start with let's start with this beefit biltong so biltong is quite similar to uh beef jerky it just has a different curing process and a different marinade this product has let's have a look at the ingredients there they are wow it it literally doesn't have a single questionable ingredient like no dextrose or something similar that's usually used in like a commercial biltong or, or beef jerky. Per 100 grams it is 1.9 carbs and this is a 30 gram pack so it's about half a gram of carbs for this entire bag. That's fantastic, that's very keto friendly. Next we have uh, this awfully posh pork crackling, oh I do love a good bit of pork crackling, sea salt flavoured. The carbs per 100 grams are 5.9, so what is this, this is a 40 gram packet, that means it's about 2 carbs for this 40 gram packet, so the ingredients, ingredients, pork rinds and sea salt, now that's fantastic, but it does make me confused as to where those 2 carbs are coming from. That's alright though, two carbs for that. I'm not first. Looks like we have one more meat snack, and that is these chorizo cuts. Oh, I love this packaging. It's like, um, it's matte, and it's styled like an old-timey uh, sweetie bag. So, ingredients are... Let's find them. There they are. Uh, pork... Once again, there's no iffy additives or dextrose or anything. It's pretty much just pork seasoning color and a preservative. And this is a 35 gram bag, about a net carb for that bag, which is is amazing. I'm, I'm really impressed that these don't have added iffy ingredients with them, like sugars and things. That's brilliant. Aha, now we get to a product I have tried. Oh, two products I have tried. And these are cheesies. These are crispy snacking cheeses. Uh, let's just triple check this. Yep, the only ingredient is quite literally cheese. So that one's cheddar cheese and that one's Emmental cheese. There's no other ingredients and they are both zero 
carbs. I can vouch that these are super, super tasty. Then we have some Olove's, Olove's olives, green pitted olives. We have a basil and garlic and a lemon and rosemary flavour. Per pack, this one is 0 0.3 grams of net carbs and this one is 0 0.3 grams of net carbs. They're both under a gram of carbs. Ah, okay, so we've got something else that I have tried before. And that is Itsu's Crispy Seaweed Thins. Crispy? Crispy Seaweed Thins, sorry. So these are just sheets of uh, seaweed with salt, I believe. Yeah, so there's seaweed, olive oil and sea salt. This packet is literally only 5 grams, right? But I can tell you that it is full of seaweed, like just chock a block with seaweed. It is such lightweight stuff and uh, this whole packet is 0.4 grams of carbs. Fantastic. Next is a little packet of I Love Snacks' Smoked Californian Almonds. The ingredients on these ones are... Oh, okay, so this is the first product I would say has what I call iffy ingredients. Rapeseed oil, which is inflammatory, dextrose, which is sugar, rice flour, dried yeast, sugar itself, yeast extract. Per 25 grams, which is the size of this pack, 2.3 carbs. So I personally have no problem with these ingredients just because it's only a 25 gram pack so they will be minimal ingredients you know it's 88% it's almonds already and uh, it's a one-off sort of thing I get that some keto folk wouldn't want to consume these but I have absolutely no problem with them what is this extra strong pepper smith mint with xylitol xylitol is super super poisonous to dogs so make sure you keep this one away from your pups oh they're tiny i don't think i'm going to be able to get these into focus look at how small they are no there's no way i'm going to get that into focus okay let me just quickly read that okay so it's pretty much just uh xylitol and like a uh, peppermint oil and stuff and xylitol is a low glycemic sweetener so these mints will have negligible carbs Oh, if you've been on this channel for a while or you follow my Instagram, you will know I love, 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 love a uh, good fat bar. They have good ingredients. They're fatty, they're tasty, and they are only two grams of net carbs. They use, uh, let me just double check, chicory extract. Yep, so that's another low glycemic index sweetener. I will never, ever say no to one of these in a snack box. And speaking of fat bar, I also see a fat bar cookie. I've only recently tried this one, and I can tell you that Fat Bar is a brand that keto folk can trust. These cooking ingredients are good. If I recall, they're made of mainly uh, almond. Yeah, ground almonds makes up half of it there. Again, sweetened with um, chicory root fibre, which is inulin, or chicory extract, and they are 1.5 grams of net carbs for the 30 gram cookie. All right, what's this back here? Munchy seeds. Oh, I missed a uh, savoury one. Uh, tamari seven seed mix. Tamari is a... Uh, it's like a Japanese kind of soy sauce, I think. What are the seven seeds? I don't have an issue with any of, the, any of these seeds, apart from maybe rape seeds themselves, because I am unsure if they're as inflammatory as the oil, because I've never just had rape seeds on their own. It does say they're about 6% of this packet, so I'm not worried because it's a one-off 25 gram packet. Um, and it is about four and a half net carbs. So this is actually the highest out of everything so far. Uh, I do know quite a few of my followers are intolerant to soy and this does use soybeans in the sauce they're in. So just a heads up. Oh, I'm super, super excited for the next one. So these are Keto Keto bars. We have a uh, chocolate hazelnut and a coconut and cashew. I, I mean, just look at the size. High fat, unapologetic. I love that. Just look at the size of these bars, right? They are really, really big and dense. Oh, my God. They look so promising. What size are these bars? 50 grams. This bar is 50 grams. That's, that's pretty big for a... Uh, snack bar and they're 27 grams of fat wow okay what are the ingredients in these 
Let's get that one to the front because that one focuses easier. Almonds. Uh, okay, they do use xylitol, both of them. Yep, they do use xylitol again. So make sure you keep these away from your dogs. Otherwise, they seem fine, apart from maybe if you have a problem with a little bit of arrowroot starch in them. In terms of net carbs, this one, the chocolate hazelnut, is two net carbs. And the cashew, coconut and cashew one is three net carbs. I am really, really looking forward to these two bars. They look gorgeous. Next, we have Willy's Pure Gold 100% Keiko. Look at that, look at that lovely shiny packaging. My camera really does not like this one. Silky Nutty Notes. Right, this is a 65 gram box packet. Um, these are ingredients wise. Yeah, it's cocoa mass and cacao butter. So it's probably going to be quite bitter. Per 100 grams, it is 10.2. So if this is 65 grams, it'll be. A little bit over five net carbs for this whole bar, but honestly, good luck eating a whole 100% chocolate bar in one sitting. So then we have these two little Montezuma 100% dark chocolate bars. I have had this before, and let me tell you, these are not for the faint-hearted. So ingredients... Yeah, these are literally just cocoa solids, so these really aren't for the faint-hearted. Per 100 grams, it is 7 grams, so this bar will be two, just under 2 grams. So each bar is just under 2 grams. So it's really, really low, but like I said, really, really bitter. Lastly, we have two Adonis bars. So we've got this pecan, pecan cocoa and goji berry bar which I have tried, and then we have a coconut, vanilla, and acai berry bar. Uh, in terms of ingredients, what is the sweetener they're using? Chicory root fibre, so that's inulin and erythritol. Is that one the same? Chicory root fibre and erythritol, yeah. So they both use chicory root fibre and erythritol, so inulin and erythritol. Both sweeteners that shouldn't affect your keto journey because they're low glycemic index. Um, the other ingredients are... They're, they're all alright by me. They're pretty much just nuts and seeds. Um, so I trust their net carbs, which they say on the front. So just so I don't have to do the maths. The coconut one is 3 grams of net carbs. And the pecan one is 2 grams of net carbs. These guys genuinely understand what is and isn't ketogenic. You can get these snack boxes that are considered low carb, but they're full of high glycemic index sweeteners or questionable additives in all of the products. The only thing in this whole box I have something slightly negative to say about is the almonds. And that really comes down to whether you are okay eating carby ingredients in a very minimal amount. I love the fact that this box is a mix of sweet and savoury. It's literally 50-50, 10 sweet, 10 savoury products. It's, it's a beautiful balance. I would love to see maybe a keto-friendly drink or two in there, you know, just to add to that sort of gimmick of uh, you have your savoury food, your sweet food, and a drink to wash it all down. I really do think that you are getting your bang for your buck. Not only does it feel super indulgent having... 20 snacks but you are getting many different brands and many flavors i cannot think of a single keto website that does all of these products in one place so they are preventing you from having to buy bulk just to try one item like the keto keto bars i've never seen them not having to buy like 12 at a time they are preventing you from having to pay shipping on multiple orders from multiple different websites to get the same products and they are taking away the hard work and the time of having to source all of these different products. Bear in mind boxes say that they want to be the place where you find exciting new brands and products for specialist diets like keto. And I've got to say guys, 
this is a really, really good first impression. Thank you again, Bear in Mind Boxes, for sending me this box. It is taking everything in my power to not eat all of it right now. And thank you so much for giving my Small Fat Adaptive family a code so that they can enjoy this box as much as I have for a lower price. But with that being said, that is all for this video. Leave a like if you found it interesting, insightful or helpful. Subscribe for more keto content. Any questions, any comments, any queries, anything down below. Let me know what you would like to try out of this box the most. Keep calm, keto on. Thanks for watching.